So welcome back, friends. So a couple of days ago, a subscriber by the name of Joe sent me something that he said was going to change my life. We may not have used those exact words, but he said that I've got a tool for you that is going to radically simplify your chainsaw kit. The chainsaw kit, of course, I shared in a video a couple days back. If you're a woodcutter, if you're a logger, if you're a wildland firefighter sawyer, there's a few pieces, bits and pieces that you're gonna wanna have to keep your saw up and running. Funny story, I was on the Eagle, the Eagle Creek fire just a couple days ago, working directly with a, uh, a team of hot shots. We were doing uh, catching a spot that had jumped beside the line. And of course, one of the hot shot sawyers was having some problems with his saw and me being the prepared type or try to be the prepared type offered my assistance because I saw immediately what was wrong and how the situation could have be fixed. But what you may not understand is that hot shots receive their knowledge and wisdom directly from the almighty and they can't be bothered with advice or tips from the unwashed like myself. So I left him to his own devices, but had he had the foresight to put together a small kit like this, he wouldn't have looked like a fool. All right, let's take a look at this and we'll uh, see, is it gonna be a good one or is it gonna be a bad one? All right, let's get into this miracle tool. So this is a saw kit. What's inside of a saw kit? Well, these gonna be the various things that we need to keep our chainsaws running. And what Joe sent me is basically a multi-tool saw kit. Now this is, it has a name on it, topsaw.com. Now I am not affiliated with them. I don't know who they are. Uh, this is not a product endorsement. This is something that was sent to me that we're gonna check out and see if it's, if it's a go or no go. You know, I've received a lot of heat lately for not being upfront about it, Amazon affiliate links. And I, I've, I thought that I always had been upfront about it, but I'll make sure it's more clearly. You know, there's different ways that those of us that do videos can support our channels. Some people choose to shake the tin cup of Patreon. Others use affiliate links like myself, meaning that if this is a part that's sold on Amazon, which I don't know if it is, I'll, but if it is, I'll put it on there. And if you purchase one, you know, we receive a small percentage. It's like four or 5% of the sale. So that's how, that's what an affiliate link is. And just to get that out of the way. Okay, so a chainsaw multi-tool. Is it too good to be true? And is it going to simplify my life as a sawyer and cut down weight because everything comes uh, down to weight. Okay, so here are the tools that are necessary for me for as a wildland sawyer. I need a carburetor tool, okay? So if we look inside this here, we're gonna find out we have, we have a carburetor tool. Okay, we can check that mark. Uh, I need a scrunch. I need something that's going to fit the bar nuts for my chainsaw as well as a spark plug and the chain adjuster. So there's actually two tools in there. So do, what do, we, do we have that box tick? So here, yes, we have right there a regular screwdriver as well as a bar and nut tool and spark plug tool uh, combined. Okay, so what else do we need? So another thing that's really important for me is to have a file handle. I want a file handle for my round files when filing my chains. Do I, can we eliminate that? And yes, indeed, this is actually quite clever here it does have a built-in file handle right there with a ta two tapered holes in it. So I can file my saw like this. And I don't know if this was an added, this was accident or planned, that little extra spark plug tool there. It's got a finger choke guard on it there. So I won't, not that I've ever done that before, but I guess that's kind of a nice thing. So there you have it. So also, it has more things that to me, oh, wait a minute, there's something else that I, here we go. In the socket, I would have to have a Torx. What is this, a T27? Whatever, core of the Torx is gonna fit like the wrapped handles and there's lots of different screws and things on the steel chainsaws that use that Torx. So there's that tool is necessary as well. And of course, we have it here in the topsaw.com, right there. I think it's the same one. We can double check, and of course it is. Okay, so we have that, and we have something else that I have never really thought that I needed, but would actually be kind of handy. This is a cleaning tool for the groove in the bar. So they get gunk and goobers and junk and oil in there, and look at that. That's actually something that is pretty nice. I, that's, that's, that's nice to have. So uh, something that I don't need, that I don't really particularly want to carry around is there's an Allen wrench there. I'm assuming that this is going to be kind of universal for several different types of saws, 
maybe a different type that I don't own. I'm only going to run husky or steel saws because, well, because they're the best. I don't care what you say. Uh, and then we have some sort of another tool there for itself. So, so there is some extra, extra things that I don't need. You know what I would rather have? I would rather have these to be brand specific. You buy one for Husky, it has everything in your Husky saw, steel, uh, whatever. Um, I'll tell you what I would like, is I would like added to that is a raker gauge. I don't know exactly how you're gonna fit that in there, but if you did something like this, if you got rid of that Allen wrench, I mean, why can't you put a raker gauge in there and have that thing flip out there. Now that would be the business right there, huh? So I was playing with this and of course I could incorporate it in there. There is some room I could shove it in there. And, and basically, you know, it is more compact. It is, ba it's all of these tools here in one, but do I need this one? No, I don't need that one. Actually, this is actually what I would be carrying. Torx, everything that I need, file handle and carburetor screwdriver. And if I, use my scientific hand scales, this is heavier. This is heavier because I'm packing around extra stuff. I'm, I, am I gonna take this? Am I gonna take this instead of this kit here? It is nice to have one tool that you could throw in a cargo pocket, one tool to grab instead of fishing around in the bag through all your other things, but it does come at weight. And you know, I'm really fussy about that weight. Let's do this. Let's see how they work. And if it works as good as the standalone tools, I might consider it. All right, let us start with the most common the most common problem. What's the most common problem gonna be? Your chain coming off or taking your chain off or chain problems. And so being able to loosen and tighten the bar nuts with a tool is important. So important that the number one tool that you have to have is this one. That's why I have a string tied to it and I wear it on my belt because I'm, I'm after it all the time. So we'll see, let's try it out here. So these are, of course, that works pretty good. One problem I see here is that, well, you can see is that if you have a full wrap handle like this, it doesn't go in there very good. Um, it will work. It will work, but you do kind of run the risk of stripping off, stripping your nut on the handle of your full wrap, as well as the sharp edge is going to tear up that nice German rubber on there. Oh, yeah, so that's, it will work, but it's not ideal, versus this type, you know, the factory ones. The factory steel uh, scrunches are the best because they've figured this out. They made it short enough so that when it slips on there, it's clear of the handle and very simple, very light, and you've got your adjustment tool in there. So I'd have to say, yes, it's usable, but I don't really dig it. Now, here's another gripe I have with this thing, um, and it's something that could be fixed. You know, you wanna put the most used tools where you're going to get at them. Of course, I'm after tightening the bar nuts, right? This is gonna be in my hand, right? I wanna, fl I wanna flip this open right here, and I want the tool that's going to adjust the chain tension. I don't want to dig through the carburetor school tool and through the bar groove cleaning tool to get to the center tool, which is the one, you know, it's just, it's fussy and it takes, it kind of a waste of time. But uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so if I'm turning this here, um, it's okay. Again, we have a problem is that this little guy sticking out is hitting you know, is hitting the thing. And you know, people say, well, you, you know, you, you can work around that and go a little bit slower. But what I found is when you're, especially when you're wildland firefighting, man, everything is such a panic. And these things that are little nuisances in the shop turn into be huge nuisances when you're under stress and pressure to get your saw up and running. So that right there um, is, it's, it's usable, but it's not, it's just not ideal. Okay, let's move on to the carburetor adjustment tool. And I don't see any problem with that. So, of course, the carburetor adjustment tool will be made to fit in here. And let's see, does it, does it fit the screw? Yeah, it does. I'm not going to change the carburetor adjustment because it's perfect right now. But uh, I don't see any issue with that. So that works good versus the regular steel, which is, they're fine. No, no complaints, no gripes there. And then finally, the small torque wrench. And nothing, you know, really to report here. Uh, this is the factory tool here. And of course, we can flip through here and get this little guy right there. Is that that T27, I believe? And access these. No complaint there. It looks like it's, it will work. 
in any application or shape that I could find on here. One thing I am missing that I do like is I like that little groove cleaning, cleaning tool, that little uh, for the bar, that's pretty nice actually. Oh, file handle, how about a file handle? So how's that stack up? So if you look here, it's got a, a large hole in here, which it's got a, a friction fit, which is actually quite good. Very good, that fits nice in there. It's pretty comfortable uh, on the hand uh, for filing. It's a little bit sharp on the nuts and bolts, but you know, it's not as good as a round file handle, but it would do in a pinch. It's not too shabby. I think that that was a kind of a nice touch. Now, I think the, what would really tip it for me though, was be, if you guys, you got, whoever invented this, you know, some smart, clever guys right there, of course, you know, figure out a way to get this thing going for me here. It's gonna have to be offset. It's gonna take some thinking and some figuring, but if you could mix in that and make this specific, steel specific, Husqvarna specific, then I think you'd, you'd be onto something right there. All right, so let's wrap it up and give you my conclusions. So what's my conclusion? What would I recommend it? Well, here's the deal. You know, here's the deal with multi-tools. Multi-tools have lots of tools on them and they work reasonably well, but not one of those tools on there is going to be as good as, as let's say a standalone pair of pliers or a standalone folding or fixed blade knife or screwdriver or what have you. It's a compromise. It's all about a compromise uh, for convenience. But for the convenience side of it and having all your tools in one spot, it's really good for that. I, I do like that. Um, perfect example, had my, um, my hotshot friend on the Golden or the Eagle Creek fire um, been so inclined to accept my kind offer and I had had this, this would have been on hand, I could have tossed it to him uh, right out of my pocket. It would have been very fast. Everything could have been taken care of and sorted. I could have got it back in my pocket and moved on versus stopping, taking my pack off, going through everything and rifling through things. So, so you can see that there is, you know, that would be an added benefit. It's not as good as the steel scrunch tool. It's not as good as the, the little file handle and the carburetor adjustment tool, but it is adequate. It would work, but at a cost because it's heavier. It's got this heavy steel case on there, and I'd like to see that lightened up. I don't know if aluminum is an option or there's a, I don't know. It's just gonna drive the price up, and this is pretty affordable. I think these were like 20 bucks or 24 bucks or something like that. But I have to say it's pretty good. It's a pretty clever design. Um, with a few little changes on it, it could be even better, um, but I like it. So the question is this, is it going to replace what I've put together? Is it gonna replace what I carry on in my wildland pack where, where ounces to me count. It is not, it is not. However, it will replace, it will go into my wood cutting kit um, when I do uh, stuff around here. Uh, it is something that I would grab, throw it into my, maybe for quick jobs that I don't wanna pack a bunch of stuff around, throw it into the cargo pocket on the front of my chainsaw chaps and I can do everything that I need to do with it uh, just not as well, uh, not as well and with a little bit of extra weight. So that's it. That's my take on it. I thank you, Joe, for sending it. Um, I hope you're not disappointed with my review because I do like it, uh, but I want to be honest about it, uh, what, my, what my impression is and what I think. And I think it's um, just a classic, classic multi-tool. I wasn't expecting miracles uh, and I don't expect them from, from multi-tools, but uh, it is a, a useful item at a, at a pretty good price and I think it's a, a good product. So I'll put a link and an affiliate link in the description if you want to order one of these. Um, and that's it. That's my review of the topsaw.com and we'll see you guys on the next video.